guys welcome back to some more afk arena today we're over on our test account and we have a new event that is up guys that is right the magician's hat returns in addition we do have the circus tour now last time we seen the the magician's hat we did not have the circus tour so if you look in here guys this is one of the top events that you get loot every single magic trick that you do in here you do get loot and looking at the probability in here the loot is pretty good guys you get red chest we have elemental cores in here we do have time emblems in here we have stargazer cards in here that is the reason you really want to push this and really want to drive it so looking at the ways to get these the circus tour of course when we go in there and we'll look at it in just a minute you can um attack the bosses in there and they usually yield so many cards per day you can also get them out of the daily quest and then at the end of this we'll look at the event deals and see exactly what we can exchange for everything in here so the gift card this is the exchange portion guys now this is really dependent on what your account needs now one of the good choices is always the red chest but if you have a majority of your meta heroes already at a plus 30 signature item or if you already have the celestial hypogen dimensionals already built up to that plus 30 it might be time to start picking up some of these elemental cores and again vice versa if you are if you still do have a lot of the meta heroes that do not have red chest guys it might be good to to pick up those red chests versus getting these elemental cores um, or getting the baits. I know a lot of players do want to build up a lot of the beasts that we do have in here. With the update, it has a little bit more of an impact for the build. But ultimately, guys, getting the heroes built themselves will far outperform what the beasts will have. Now, looking at the heroes we have in here, guys, I, I like the lineup in here. Um, number one priority would be, if you've noticed, Twisted Realm, Cursed Realm, so many aspects of AFK Arena, guys. First one would be Halos. Halos is a hero that does have to be built, guys. Um, signature item, the nine of nine furniture, plus 60 engraving on him does absolutely phenomenal, which is the reason to really build him out, guys. Again, looking at the lineup last time, it would have been Ulna would have been the priority. This one, it is Halos would be the priority, um, followed probably by Kazard. Kazard, of course, you only need at Mythic. The big thing with Kazard, guys, is the plus 30 signature item that he possesses, which extends the duration of debuffs that enemies see. That is the reason he is utilized in the Charmizard. But in addition, he is also used in a couple other ones. Um, comps running with Leonardo, comps running with Raku and Mishka. Um, there are a few meta formations that he does kind of fall into. Again, utilizing the duration from the signature item that he does have in there. Valoris is a hero that requires an incredible amount of build. I'm um, short of really the tower, and I believe at this point, one single kit, um, Cursed Realm comp, there is not really a big utility. And then Titus is not used anywhere, guys. I think some players do utilize him in some very niche uh, PvP specs, but overall, there is no reason. I have never built him out on any account, and he is the very bottom when it comes to the tier list of the utilization. Now, one thing to point out, guys, is early players. So if you are relatively early into AFK Arena, um, the Dura's artifacts are actually super effective and highly effective um, just because there are so many game modes that use two artifacts, guys. First one is the Dura's Eye. The second one is the Dura's Call. They're really the two primary artifacts that you want to get to five stars for both of them. They're used, again, in a lot of game modes. We see it in the Twisted Realm. Um, we see it in campaign formations. Getting both of those to the five-star rating um, for the Dura's artifacts is a pretty important call. Again, if you're early, this takes a lot of time to build these up. And as you can see, guys, they have never and they still do not include the class-specific artifact pieces in here, which I wish they would, but unfortunately, at this point, they do not. So again, guys, priority would be Halos, definitely number one, um, followed by Kazard, getting him up to Mythic. If you build him higher, there's not a super, um, he's not really super beneficial if you continue to build him up. If you get furniture, if you continue, you know, doing the engraving on him, he is so low down on the priority list because, again, players just utilize him for the aspect of the prod control. So looking at the Circus Tour, guys, you can see here, this gives us 65 and this gives us 65. So we get, what, 130 out of here with our challenge attempts, guys. I don't think there's anything else that they've kind of added in here. We've done this Circuit Brutus um, a couple times and you get to do this 
you can see remaining challenges three of three but throughout the entire event this changes teams so there will be different teams in here fortune chest of course is based on the guild that is doing the most damage in there and then those chests are split between all of the guild members which can make a very big difference now looking at the quest guys it is the daily quest so we got what 15 we got 20 25 35 and 50 so a decent amount of pulls in here definitely loving that guys um to go ahead and get those pieces out of here with this now we knew the event was coming we were just waiting to see exactly when it came up i'm gonna hop through here just do one or two of these little daily quests um that way we can pick up and i can do at least one draw so you can see it if you are unfamiliar with the event and dailies usually just take a couple minutes to kind of buzz through here guys literally just a couple minutes you can get a bunch of rewards out of here which i believe will give us enough for one single pull and then we'll go ahead and we'll look at the event deals so magic trick we have 35 you can see one trick pull every trick that you pull out of here boom 300 po coins which is the reason guys again every single draw you do in here you get rewards you do get loot out of every single um one of this which means that you could get a lot of stargazer cards and time emblems by working and doing the magic tricks in here now let's go ahead we'll look at the merchant tab and see so overall guys when it comes to the visiting merchant now this is the one that allows you to get the cards now the special event deal you can see the 99 cent pack for 180 cards this is the best deal and you this deal you can only buy once once you purchase this one um it is gone meaning it is not going to be here again it actually goes to a four dollar and 99 cent deal which means that it goes to these merchant ships for our daily deals here this is really where you want to get the cards guys the one dollar packs and these five dollar packs give you more cards than anywhere else you can see guys even the one dollar pack gives you 105 the five dollars gives you 220 so if you're just a light or low spender guys getting this one single 99 cent pack can make a big difference because every six days you will actually get another elite hero out of here which could be celestials and hypogens as well but you'll also get these magic tickets and remember it was 30 to pull so you can do three pulls every single time that you spend 99 cents so again as a light spender guys it is well worth it to get the event deals in here because not only are you going to be pulling loot from the magician's hat on every single draw but during the exchange you'll be able to exchange for a lot more loot and on top of that you do also get those elite stones in there so all right guys so that'll do it for the magician's hat event let me know in the comment what you guys think of the event i believe this is the third or fourth time that we've actually ran this again it is a very cool event and it is loot heavy for sure so again let me know in the comments what you guys think and as always thank you guys for watching